Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a no contact collective love reading, no communication, no contact. What is your person thinking and feeling? Where is this connection headed? What does spirit want you to know at this time? Welcome back, everybody. If you're not interested in your past person, please check out your daily collective love readings because this reading will not be for you. This is for somebody who's thinking about somebody they're not in communication with and they would like to be. Spirit, please share with me any love messages that you have. What is it that you have for us? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have cuddle. I want to hold you. I have poison. Is this somebody that you shouldn't be with? Is this somebody that um, every time you're together that, you know, there's chaos or there's drama and this person is just, I don't know, bad news in some way to you? I have be courageous, be strong during this period of time. Maybe spirits is giving you some extra strength while you're waiting. I have, I don't know what to say to you. You've left me speechless. So maybe we just don't even know what to say to each other anymore. Maybe something's happened in this connection where you're just like, how do you respond to that? Or um, how do you, you know, how do you even start the conversation? Let's be friends. Maybe this person now, I, I have a feeling about let's be friends. I think it's really hard to go from being lovers to being friends. And I feel like that's usually a person who's an avoidant who wants to be attached to you emotionally and keep that attachment while they're kind of searching for something better. And, and I just don't feel like you um, deserve that you deserve better. So no, no to the let's be friends. <laughs> like, no, that's not the, um, that's not an option. Okay. Like if this person is at, you know, just not an option. Okay. So maybe you're, you, somebody's mentioned that to you or offered that. I have rumors that you're with somebody else. They're with somebody else. There could be just gossip going on. I'm damaged, but that's coming into me as I'm falling apart. I'm in pieces. Um, there's something going on here. And I'm keeping my feelings unknown. I'm being silent about my feelings. Let's get a couple more of these. I'm still carrying a flame for you. So this person still has feelings. They still have, you know, it's really hard to just like turn off the faucet to your feelings. And I have conflicted feelings. I'm conflicted. So something is going on in this connection. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. Let's see what they have for you. Spirit, tell me about this burning flame for you. I have strength again. I have a hangman. There's the waiting. I have a page of pentacles and I have a six of swords. So boy, it, it is coming into me as they are trying to move on. They are trying hard. They've given this some time and some space, but they still have feelings for you. So it's, it's one of those situations where even when I try to move on, I can't. And this burning flame still is there and maybe it's on your side too. I'm trying to move on, but I can't. And maybe that's what you're going to find out. I can't move on that. Something is happening with that. So the page is optimistic to me. That's a little ray of hope I have. I'm trying to heal is coming into me with this temperance. Here's the hope coming into me with this star. So there is a feeling of hope. There's a feeling of working things out. There's a feeling of figuring this out together. I will say that I'm, 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 I am believing in this kind of bright light for right now. I do have this um, because my first thing that I heard from spirit to start this reading was I want to hold you. So somebody who just wants to be friends doesn't want to hold you. I think you have an avoidant that is trying to keep you in their life because they need you in their life emotionally. 
and they don't want to risk losing you forever. But at the same time, they're not committing to the next level lo of love with you or they're afraid of a next level love with you. So, but at the same time, they can't move forward. So they're, they're, you know, they're being kind of foolish to tell you the truth. Let's keep it. Let's keep going. I want to send you a message today, but I was afraid to, I don't know if you want to hear from me or not, if I can, if, um, or if I can say the right things to you, like I'm afraid to reach out. Okay. So we've got a fear of, um, a fear to reach out. So why? Maybe you said, no, I'm not going to be friends with you. Maybe you blocked them. Maybe you said, you know what? You picked your path. You picked what you want. It depends on what you guys decided. Uh, my children need to come first. Trust that they are part of the plan. So if children were interfering in this connection, sometimes children are definitely, um, an interference. I mean, the person's going to be on the side of their own children for sure. But if the, your person's not getting along with your, your children or a, a child, that's a problem. I'm praying you'll come back after everything that's happened between us. I worry that you won't forgive me and allow me another chance. So there's a sense of forgiveness. I do have some numbers, number one, four, seven, um, I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and openness. So a little bit of an insecurity feeling and also a feeling of I can't focus on work. I can't focus on um, there's money flying out of their pockets. So maybe they're struggling with some finances or they are having a hard time focusing on what they need to get done during this transition or this um, time away. Spirit is sharing with me now some signs. Let me grab those. I just got a Pisces. I have a Sagittarius. I have a Virgo. I have an Aries. And I have two more Libra and a Capricorn. So they could be your signs or their signs, sun, moon, rising. Doesn't, if you didn't hear your sign, don't worry about it. It's just a clue. Let's see what else. When I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. So I like this um, energy of I'm praying, you know, I'm praying and I'm meditating and I'm hoping that you will forgive me. Um, I'm sending my feelings out to you. Even, you know, this is a very telepathic connection. Could be a twin flame, could be a soulmate connection. But I can talk to you in my heart. And you can see even says telepathic right here. So telepathic energy. So I can talk to you even if I'm not seeing you. So keep that in mind. I know that you're hearing me. I know that you're feeling me. And I'm just, I love this kind of light coming into us. Let me get another one of these. These are always nice. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost. The number 11, maybe the 11th of the month. Keep the, I have one 11. I'm not kidding you on my clock when I'm recording this. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Wow, that was cool. Even in my world, that was awesome. Uh, so keep your eyes open for 11. All right, so one one eleven. how cool was that? So something's going on with those 11. So we will keep that out there. Our love is eternal. Our love is eternal and cannot be lost. I, I'm gonna keep that over here only because I think that's such a beautiful message. Uh, that is beautiful. So let's see what else they're saying to us today. Let's um, let's get some love messages. Let's see what some of the love messages are because uh, I, I, you know, sometimes it's just we needed a break. You know, right now uh, we cannot lose this love. It's almost like don't don't you know don't panic yet because I have a lot of hope. Um, and a lot can happen in a very short period of time is how I feel. You make me nervous. I, I have, I really feel like I have an avoidant, afraid to go to the next level, you know, commit to whatever you guys are starting to talk about or what has to happen. Um, I don't want to lose you. I think that you've got somebody who made a mistake that they're out there now 
and they um i don't know what they said they put their foot in their mouth spirit just said they said something or did something that um they put their foot in their mouth and now they're starting to realize that i can still feel you even when i'm not with you i'm thinking about you even when i'm not with you and and people think that it's going to be so easy i'm just not going to talk to you and it's going to be easy. I'm going to go on with my life. And, and that's not what happens. What happens is it's your heart literally aches. Your heart craves talking to your person. It misses them. It starts to go through a grief. You don't just stop having feelings for somebody. Um, so embarrassed by my behavior. You know, they put their foot in their mouth. They did something that was just wrong. Give me a few months. So maybe that's they, they have a timeline in their head, which I really believe that. I believe that people say, you know what, I'm going to do this for a few weeks, a couple of months, and then, you know, they're they're better and and then they want to talk again. So maybe I do want to make up now. Beautiful. All right. So I want to make up. So you've got somebody who do not be just their friend. Okay. Let them feel the pain. <laughs> Let them feel the pain of missing you. Okay. When they feel the pain of missing you, that's when they're going to think they're losing you. And that's when they're going to start to panic and say, I don't want to lose you. And they realize their feelings. And then they start to um, realize that they can't move on without you. So I'm going to say, just keep the no contact. OK, don't give in. Don't chase them. Um, let this person come back to you and let them realize that they will lose a good thing if they don't come forward and, you know, start to repair some of this damage. But I I do feel like they are realizing their feelings, of course, and they're definitely realizing the pain in this connection or this no contact. So I'm going to say we're going to, you know, we're going to put this on hold for now, but know that your person still has a burning flame for you. And this isn't over. This isn't over. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your, your comments. If anybody would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.